It's a game in memory of one of Ghana's female hockey players, Greta Aite, a pioneer of the sport in Ghana's fire service. For some of these players, it's not just a time to remember her contributions, but also a chance to perfect their skills on the turf. On Saturdays, I come here to play league or friendly matches. It's also a time to have fun with my hockey family. Unlike football, hockey is not a popular sport in Ghana. Coaches say it's because of a lack of infrastructure to develop the sport, especially at the high school level, coupled with poor salary for professional players in the country. They mostly play for free. We are having those challenges because we have only one theft. If the thefts we have two or more, or let's say three or four, like some of us will take that opportunity to go and train or mold up um, ladies. Ghana hosted both the men and women's Hockey Africa Cup of Nations tournament in January. While the national women hockey team won the silver medal, the men's team placed fifth. Ghana's male hockey team will have their first appearance at the Commonwealth Games in England in July. They hope to improve on their last performance at the Africa Cup of Nations. But coaches say more needs to be done to prepare the team for the competition. If the funding is not there, then invariably it creates so many problems for, for those who are in charge to actually develop the game. We want to look into the much bigger picture and try and project ourselves from where we are now to the next level. Ghana's Hockey Association says it will build more turfs across the country to help develop the sport and nature talents. While Ghana's national hockey team has never qualified for the Olympics, coaches say with the needed support and training, these players can perfect their skills to compete on a global stage. Nabil Ahmed Rufai, CGTN, Accra, Ghana.